Sudden infant death syndrome seeds is a heartbreaking tragedy that affects thousands of families around the world. While there is no sure way to prevent it, understanding the warning signs and taking certain steps can help reduce the risks of seeds and provide much needed peace of mind for parents. Hello everyone, this is Pooja and welcome to our channel Love and We. In this video, we will discuss what is seeds, the warning signs and tips for reducing the risk factors. All right, let's get into the topic now. What is sudden infant death syndrome? Seeds. Sudden infant death syndrome seeds is the sudden and unexpected death of a baby less than one year old in which the cause was not obvious before investigations. Seeds is the leading cause of post-neonatal death of babies in the United States. 90% of seeds death occur within the first six months of life. With the peak rates between one to four months, death comes suddenly and unpredictably, usually during the sleep time. It is so heartbreaking for families who experience it. Research indicates that seeds is linked to certain risk factors due to inadequate sleep safety practices and should not be considered typical for the infants in their first year of life. Seeds usually occurs when baby is asleep, although it can occasionally happen while they are awake. Sleeping on the stomach or side increases the risk of seeds. Babies younger than one year old should be placed on their back to sleep, neighbor on the stomach or on their sides. The cause of seeds is unknown, but many clinicians and researchers believe that seeds is associated with problems in the ability of the baby to arouse from sleep, to detect low level of oxygen or a buildup of carbon dioxide in the blood. So when babies sleep face down, they may rebreathe exhale carbon dioxide. Normally rising carbon dioxide levels activate nerve cells in the brain stems which stimulate the brain's respiratory and arousal centers. So when the babies wake up and turn his head and breathe faster to get more oxygen, seeds babies, however, may fail to rouse. The triple risk model for seeds has been proposed to explain how seeds occur. The model that holds that seeds occur when three conditions exist simultaneously. So the number one is the infant has an underlying Example, brainstem abnormalities that makes him unable to respond to low oxygen level or high carbon dioxide blood levels. Number two, the infant is exposed to a triggering events such as sleeping face down on its tummy. And number three is these events occur during a vulnerable stage in the infant's development that is the first six months of life. Now let's talk about risk factor of seeds. Number one, placing a baby to sleep on the stomach or side instead of their back. Baby sleep in these positions might have more difficulty breathing than those placed on their backs. Number two, co-sleeping with an adult or adult children in the same bed. Number three, overheating such as from heavy blankets, clothing and too much bedding around the infants. Number four, use of soft bedding materials lying face down on a fluffy comforter or a soft mattress can block an infant's airway. Number five, prematurity or low birth weight. Number six, a mother who smoked during her pregnancy or secondhand smoke exposure. Number seven, exposure to environmental toxins such as pesticides and carbon monoxide. Number eight, infants with a family history of seeds. Number nine, neurological abnormalities. Number 10, infection in the mother or baby during pregnancy or after birth. Number 11, baby sleep positions near to the walls, furniture, loose bedding or other objects that can obstruct infant breathing. Number 12, mama's age, teen pregnancy. Number 13, baby gender, boys are more prone to seeds. Number 14, baby's race, non-white infants are at higher risk. Number 15, excessive drinking or drug abuse during pregnancy. Number 16, poor prenatal care. Number 17, maternal stress or depression before or after the birth of the baby. So it is important for parents to be aware of these risk factors and take appropriate steps to reduce them in order to help prevent seeds. Taking the time to educate yourself on safe sleeping habits can go a long way towards protecting your infants from this heartbreaking tragedy. Additionally, reaching out for support from friends and families or healthcare providers when needed can help 
provide an extra layer of protection. Now let's talk about what are the warning signs of seeds. Although there is no sure way to prevent seeds, understanding the warning signs can help parents to recognize when their baby may be at an increased risk for these tragic events. Some of the main warning signs of seeds include number one, a sudden stop in your baby's breathing. Number two, unusual pauses in your baby's breathing during sleep. Number three, an increase in the number of apnea episodes where a baby stops breathing for 10 or more seconds. Number four, signs that your baby is having difficulty sleeping such as extra movements, fussiness, and difficulty settling. Number five, a change in the color of your baby's skin such as baby's turning blue. Number six, high fever or other sign of Ill illness or infections. If you notice any of these warning signs, it is important to contact your doctor immediately for further evaluations and support. So it is also important to remember that seeds is still relatively rare and the majority of fans will not be affected by it. However, understanding the warning signs can help parents to protect their little ones from these tragedy events. What are some tips for reducing the risk of seeds? Seeds is a heartbreaking tragedy, but it can be prevented if parents take the necessary precautions. There are many steps that parents can take to reduce the chance of seeds. Some tips for reducing the risk of seeds include Number 1. Place a baby to sleep on their back rather than their sides or stomach. Baby in stomach position is only safe if the baby is awake and under supervised. For example, while doing tummy time. Number 2. Use a farm mattress and remove any soft bedding such as pillow, quilts, and stuffed animals. Number three, keep the room at a comfortable temperature and ensure that baby is dressed appropriately. Number four, keep the sleeping area smoke free both before and after birth. Number five, nursing or breastfeeding your baby regularly can reduce the risk of seeds. Number six, Having regular checkups with a doctor to ensure your baby is healthy. Number seven, provide a safe sleeping space such as crib or bassinets. Don't share a bed with them. Number eight, according to the most recent reports, the safest surfaces for infants is farm sleep surface, a farm crib mattress covered by a fitted seat. Soft surfaces increases the risk of seeds. Following these tips can help reduce the risk of seeds and provide much needed peace of mind for parents. Additionally, it is important to stay informed on any new information regarding seeds. With increased awareness and safe sleeping practices, we can work together towards eliminating this tragedy. Alright, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe and keep learning. See you.